What is up everyone? Nick here with another video. Today I'm really excited and a little bit sad, but uh, mostly excited because I think I've done something that's going to help a lot of you out. Uh, some people recently reported to me that our old pal Shortcut Master Lite is no longer available in the App Store, uh, so I immediately found it online and posted a link to where it's still downloadable even though it's no longer in the Play Store. Uh, here I have the pro version of the app, uh, so it's ad-free and all that. I, I supported the developer because uh, they really did a good job with this application and none of this would have been possible without that. And the application also has all kinds of other functionality. So if you can, support that developer by paying for the pro version of their app. Um, but since the free version is no longer available and I only use the free version in my vi or well when I'm using the free version in my videos I'm only using it to make uh, available the wireless hotspot on Sprint devices I didn't think five dollars and forty nine cents would be worth uh, worth it to most users to unlock a feature of their phone that is built into the phone uh, I just don't think it's fair to hide stuff like that behind a paywall um, so what I have done now is I've spent a few hours uh, learning about Android Studio and developing in Java for Android and I've written my own app and you can see it here in my app drawer with my YouTube logo as the icon and it's called open it and as soon as you open it up you can see here uh, it has a brief description of what you can do with this app and uh, you also see some buttons down here uh, this app was written like I said in just a few hours and it's my first real app so if you have a device that isn't the Galaxy Note 9 it might not scale properly it, you might have issues if you do have issues with it you can leave a comment on this video or you can go to my XDA developers thread and leave a comment there and I'll put it in the bug report and work but you can see even if you know I turn the screen sideways it, it immediately the, the scale and everything just goes away so it's portrait only for now and I can't guarantee display support on all devices but if you have a device and the display isn't supported let me know and I'll work on that so I'm gonna show you guys today how to unlock the hotspot using this app that I make completely 100 percent free and ad free and you can see that now I do put a donate link down there and if you hit that it will open up my blog page where I have created a little PayPal purchase option here so there's bronze silver gold and then platinum if you wanted to be crazy and I definitely appreciate any uh, donations because this did take some work a lot more work than I thought actually um, and all the donations of course are going to go towards future development on this application and then other applications to unlock some some functionality that the carriers like to hide from us so without further ado I will go ahead and walk you through the process so step one is of course going to be to download this app I have a link to my XDA developers thread in the description and I'll also post it in a pinned comment at the top of the comment section for this video all you have to do is go to that link and uh, scroll to the bottom of my first post and I encourage you to read that and the file is attached to that post and it is called it's open it underscore 1.0 because this is my first released version of this application and it's a fully signed app you'll probably get a notification from Google Play services telling you that it's not an application from the App Store and if you're using Chrome it'll ask you if you want to install this application using Chrome and go ahead and uh, hit yes to those security features, allow it to install the application, and uh, this app does not require any special permissions at all. Uh, it only will work if you have this app on your phone, so if you hit the open LTE settings button and you don't have the LTE settings on your phone, the app will just crash. Uh, there's nothing else going on in the background. You can uninstall this app as soon as you're done. Um, I don't believe in watching people or taking their data or anything like that uh, and Google does make it really easy even for someone like me who doesn't know a whole lot about programming for Android it's pretty easy to put stuff like that in there uh, and then require the permissions but this app like I said does not require any permissions whatsoever so the first thing you'll want to do in this app is click open phone and then as in the previous video you want to enter pound pound two seven two six three pound and uh, I just ran it a second ago so I'm gonna have to do that again pound pound two seven two six three pound 
and it'll pop up with this warning. It says, this will reset the provisioning parameters and brand customization to factory default. Do you want to continue? Before you click yes on this, make sure that you've backed up any voicemails that you want to keep because this uninstalls and then reinstalls Sprint's voicemail application. If you don't use that, then you have nothing to worry about. But if you do use Sprint's voicemail application, their visual voicemail application, you'll want to back up any voicemails and save them as recordings or something before you do this because they will be gone. Um, other than that, it doesn't reset your phone, it doesn't destroy anything, all it does is remove what Sprint puts on there when you first turn it on and then allow Sprint to reinstall it again. So I'm going to hit no because I've already done this. Okay, uh, now here we are back in the application and so now that you've opened the phone and done that um, and your phone should have rebooted when you hit yes and then you give it a few minutes to reinstall the stuff. Then you'll just click this button here, open LTE settings, and this will take you exactly to where you need to be. And what you're looking for is this right here, LTE APN setting, and then access point names, just like that. And you want to go to the APN type and you want to add exactly what I have here after you should have default and MMS automatically. And you just want to add comma D U N click. Okay click the three dot menu in the top right, click save, and then that's it, go home, click mobile hotspot, and mobile hotspot tethering is on. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I don't have wireless hotspot. If you do pay for wireless hotspot and it's not working for you, this will fix that. And if you don't pay for wireless hotspot but you want to have hotspot, this will also work for that. Um, once you have done all of this, you are of course welcome to just uninstall my app. But again, I really do appreciate donations because they help uh, they help give me the drive to keep making this. And then if you can't donate or you just don't want to donate, if you go on my XDA developers thread, just hit the thanks button on that post, and uh, that's that's a great way to show your appreciation that doesn't cost you anything. So that is it. Oh well, this last button here, if you hit open instruction video. For now, it takes you to my previous video, so you'll see here, the Galaxy Note 9. What is up, you guys? So that plays, um, but uh, in the very next version of this app, which should be released like today or tomorrow, uh, it will instead open this video that you're watching right now. So that is pretty much it. If you have any trouble with this, you can post in my XDA developers thread or you can post a comment on this video and I will try and help you out. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if this video helped you and leave a like. Thank you.